Welcome back guys, this is Munch from Golden Motor. Today we're going to be bench testing our new M625 motor. So in the last video we went through unboxing and my first impressions of the M625 motor. Today we're going to be doing a bench test and we're going to be installing some of the components from the BBS HD and see if that still works on the M625 platform. Let's go. Okay, so let's connect everything and take the rubber band off. We got the old uh, hydraulic brake sensor right here. Okay. And then the Lecky. Oh, you oh that. Like, does the Lecky fit on there? Uh, let's try that. Um, let's hook it up first and then we can try that. So what do we need? We need the main wire harness. It's the first thing we need. Okay. Okay, that plugs in. I like the shape better than the round one because uh, there's no trying to find it. There's only one way it fits in, so I kind of like that better. Uh, let's see, speed sensor. We'll probably need to hook that up as well. Um, display. Well, I'm curious how this display is, what changes they made from the, yeah. the DPC-18. Yeah, and I'm curious like how the throttle, is. did they by default program it where the throttle is independent from the PAS? Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. A lot of people want that. Yeah. See, I kind of like the shapes though, instead of uh, instead of the round. So that's the throttle. Yeah, less chances of the pins being bent, because there's only one way you can kind of try to try it. True, true. Okay, and let's hook up the battery. Just for kick, should we try like our 5221 see if it works with it? <laughs> it's not gonna work with it, but... We can try it, but I don't think it's gonna work. Well, let me bring a 5221, put it next to the yeah. shark pack, next to the wheel pack. <laughs> <laughs> the jumbo shark pack versus the wheel pack. Smaller. So 5221 is smaller than the... Yeah, 5219. I think it's smaller in every way. From the top, yeah. And it packs more punch. Oh, I'm gonna hook up the lights too. I wanna see how the lights look too. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, let me let me do a test run first and then yeah. we can hook up the lights after. Let's see. So how does the battery? Yeah. It seems like it's on the battery. Wait, like there's no on off switch? There there is one on the display. Oh display, yeah, true, true. But there should be one on the battery too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the power's life. Okay. Just powering up like normal. Thank you for using Bafang products. Sent uh Okay. Give what does it look like? Oh, it looks nicer. Oh, I like that. It's, it's much sharper. Nice and clean, not yeah. too much. Zoom into the camera. Yeah, it's just five pedal assist modes. I'm sure you can change that somehow. Yeah, it's probably display, you can probably up to nine. Yeah. Most people like nine, just go up to zero. Yeah, so zero now? Yeah, it's zero. Let's see if the throttle works at zero. Yeah. No, it does not. No. Try it at one, make sure the throttle is working. Yeah, there okay. Oh, speed sensor error. That's expected. Yeah. It should still work, right? No, the other one used to work. This one's not working. Oh, okay. So we have to hook it up. Oh, okay, let me get the speed sensor. So I got the speed sensor hooked up, uh, but I need somebody to hold the magnet and kind yeah. of fake run it. Okay. So now we're at five. That's full throttle. 
Yeah. Sounds quieter than the old one. Yeah. I'm curious, like, if the nylon gear is different, or if the bearings are different, or something's different inside. We should probably make a whole video of, like, opening up the whole motor. Yeah, yeah. We can do that next video. We can open everything up and check the insides. But yeah, everything looks good, um, but there's still no pedal assist on zero, so we won't know until we actually hook it up on a bike to test the pedal assist, um, which is okay. And we can also do a video on programming it with the software. Um, well, oh, let's do the lights. These are the the rear lights and the front lights. Are the wires the same length or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because oh, yeah, it's from the middle. So. Yeah, it's the mid motor, right? <laughs> up again I think you probably got that yeah oh there you go you got to hold down the plus button for the lights to come on these are good quality lights too they're not super cheap it's decent quality pretty good nice that's plug and play that's the best thing yeah so now let's try the hydraulic brake sensor and the lecky bling ring let's see let's see if those parts still work I think they should still work. Okay, hydraulic brake sensor. Uh, the rear light went out. It went, uh, it turned on when you plugged in the hydraulic brake sensor. Oh, really? So maybe it doesn't work. It does work. Oh. Yeah, because the light went on, right? So the brake lights went out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so if I put a magnet there, it's going to go off. Yeah. That's cool. So it works. It works, yeah. So the hydraulic, so the gear sensor should work too, but we're, we're not gonna know that until we install it. Yeah. Okay, let's try the... Ooh, dude, it would be so cool if the Lecky works too. Let's try it. From the looks of it, I think it should work. Like a glove. It fits. It's not hitting the motor or anything? No, it's not hitting the motor, nothing. It's clean. And the lines, uh, the holes line up, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so the Lekkies work with this as well. Cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. So that should conclude our bench test video. Uh, give us a subscribe and a like. Uh, comment below if you guys want to see anything else tested. I think with the next video, we might just open up the whole motor and see what's inside and what changes they've made. Um, that's it for now, see you guys next time.